Right now, 100,000 face masks were just delivered to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, and it's all because of a local business owner we first told you about last year. He saw a pandemic problem, used masks and other PPE thrown all over city streets. CBS 2's Mugo Diwe explains how he turned it all into an opportunity to make a difference. So this is about doubling the good. Pick up the discarded litter of masks you see in your neighborhood and new masks will be donated to those who need it. Today, the Chicago Food Depository is reaping the benefits of that good. 100,000 masks. That folks at the Chicago Food Depository can now use and give to those who need it most. It's all thanks to this man, Leo Friedman, CEO of Chicago-based iPromo. We are promotional products, branding company, like, you know, your everyday swag. But when the pandemic hit, the business took a tumble. Friedman responded by pivoting. His company switched to selling PPE. We started selling gloves and gowns and thermometers. Then he noticed something unsettling. How many masks could I find per square block in the Chicago West Loop neighborhood? And it was between five and six every time. Friedman says there was no escaping it. He saw it every day. He took his dog for a walk. So he decided to lead the change he wanted to see. Through his company, iPromo, he put a message out. For every mask, glove, or other PPE picked up, his company would donate masks to a charity. It's been, it's been great. Sometimes we will we'll receive a picture of like 10 garbage bags full of litter that people have picked up. The donation won't end here with the Chicago Food Depository. The plan is to keep it going. The city can't handle all the masks on the ground. And for the sake of our children, the sake of our pets, the sake of just clean neighborhoods, just get the word out. So when you see used masks just laying around in your neighborhood, Friedman's message is pick them up, take a picture of them, post it to social media and tag iPromo. It's your own way of doing good for your neighborhood. In Archer Heights, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.